Hi guys, I'm Dr. Winnie Yu. I'm a physical therapist here in New York City and you are tuning into Well and Good's Trainer of the Month Club. Today I'm gonna to be taking you some really great morning stretches that you can do at the start of your day just to loosen up and feel more fresh for the day. All you'll need is a mat, let's get started. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a three-way child's pose. You guys may be familiar with the child's pose from yoga or similar exercises, but the great way of improving that mobility and that flexibility is by doing it in three different directions. So I'm gonna have you guys start off with knees about hips width apart, if not a little bit wider. Toes can be flat down or tucked under depending on your ankle mobility, right? We're gonna start out with our hands in front of us about shoulder width height, and we're gonna slowly sit our butt back down towards our heels. We're gonna reach the arms nice and long, come on back to center. We're gonna go for eight repetitions in this direction first. So this is something that you may be familiar with, but why I'm choosing to do this dynamically is because it's a great way just to bring more blood flow to those muscles at the start of the day. Once we switch over to the opposite direction, we can hone in onto each side a little bit better, and you should feel a deeper stretch into some of those side trunk muscles. So we got two more here. Again, try to sink a little bit deeper with every repetition. And then I'm gonna have you walk your hands back to center. So we're gonna start off in that side position. The hands will be towards the left. You're gonna sit your bum gently towards the right. So you can feel a deeper stretch onto those side muscles of that right side. Slow and gentle with the motion. Trying to get a little bit deeper into the range with every count. We have three more here. And try to breathe with each repetition. So exhale on the way down, inhale on the way up. And then I'm gonna have you walk your hands back to center. Hands will now go towards that right side. Again, bum will be shifting towards the left now to get a deeper stretch onto the left side. Sit our bum back down towards the heels. I'm a little bit tighter, tighter on this side, so you can see I can't go quite as far deep, but that's all right. That's why we do these unilateral exercises to really hone in on the flexibility deficits on either side. So we have four more here and three. And two, and one. And then we're gonna come on to our next exercise. So this is a downward dog with calf pedaling. So making it a little bit more dynamic than your traditional down dog, we're gonna place our hands into that high plank position. Core is activated, glute is activated. Slowly walk your hands down closer towards your hands. You should already be feeling a decent stretch into those calf muscles, those muscles at the back of the lower leg. I'm gonna have you now walk to a tolerable range where you feel like your hands are supported, your neck isn't craned, right? Gently tuck the chin so you're neither extended or too far back. We're in a nice V position and I'm gonna have you pedal the feet. So you're gonna reach one heel down towards the ground, the opposite now down towards the ground. We're gonna go 10 to each side so that you feel alternating deep stretches into the calf. This is three. This is four. Slow and gentle with the motion so that you get a little bit deeper into the range with each one. We have four more here. And three, three, two, two, one, one, come on back to center. Next round of exercises we're gonna do here is in that tall kneeling and half kneeling position. So we're gonna target some of those hip flexor muscles, some of those glute muscles, as well as those side trunk muscles. The first thing I'm gonna have you do is step your foot out in front of you, gently tuck the pelvis so we get a nice neutral pelvis. You should feel already a little bit of a stretch at the front of the hip. So we're gonna maintain this position as we move the upper body, just so that you have a stable trunk. You can have your hands on your hips and we're gonna slowly reach towards that left side. So we're gonna go for eight repetitions here, really slow and controlled for three, for four, for five. And six, we got two more here, seven and eight. 
come on back to center, slowly transition to that opposite side. So now your right foot is going to be in front, gently tuck that pelvis so you protect the lower back. If you're too far arched, you can feel a little something in that lower back, so tuck the pelvis. Right hand is going to be on your right hip, and we're going to reach towards that opposite side. So we're going to go for eight here, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, we got two more, seven, and eight, and we're going to transition over to that next exercise. So the next exercise I'm going to take you through is that adductor rock and that lateral lunge. This is great for anyone that snowboards, skateboards, skis, surfs, anything that really uses those inner thigh um, or adductor muscles. You may feel a little bit of stretch into that um, inner groin muscles. I work with a lot of surfers that usually strain this area when they're really paddling and getting on the board. It's a great one just to warm up before you get in the water. So hands will be in front of you, stacked about shoulders height. We're going to step that left foot out towards the side. You're Heel can be down or flat, whatever is comfortable for you. For someone that's a little bit tighter, feel free to step your foot a little bit closer. So we're gonna come out to the side. Our toes from the back can be tucked under or placed flat, and we're gonna slowly sit the bum back down towards the heels, come on back to center. Again, in terms of chin positioning, really make sure you protect that neck. Gently tuck the chin so that you're not straining through the neck as you're rocking back for two and three and four five, six, we got three more here, seven, eight, nine, let's switch over to that opposite side. So we're gonna step that right foot out to the side. Again, foot can be placed flat on the ground or the heel can be down, toes are up. We're gonna sit our bum back down towards the heels. Let's go for nine here. This is two and three. With every repetition, try to get a little bit deeper. And five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And from here, let's transition back into that high plank position. So we're gonna go over some hip mobility exercise. It's also a little bit of a stability exercise as well. Again, great for those inner thigh and hip muscles. So I'm gonna have you come into that high plank position. Shoulders are stacked above um, the hands, right? Wrists are gently protected. Come into that high plank position, gently tuck through that chin so you have a straight line from that earlobe all the way down to that ankle. So we're not either really arched down or really high up. We want a nice straight line and we're gonna step out that right foot down to either side, sink in a little bit so you feel a stretch onto that front of that left hip as well as a little bit into that right hip. Step on back to center and that left side, shift the weight down a little bit, come on back to center and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, we got two more here, and nine, last one, and 10. So from this position, let's transition up on into standing. So we did one round of each exercise for the first two blocks. Let's go for two rounds of that standing block. So we're gonna come on to that first position in standing. So this will be the standing QL stretch. Feet are about hips width apart. I'm gonna have you shift the weight onto the left side, cross that right leg lightly behind that left side. For some people, that's a little bit better with balance. You can cross all the way over, right? And if you want, you can just have this and have your hand on the wall if your balance isn't so great. So I'm just gonna have my hand slightly behind my left side so I can get a deeper stretch onto that right lower back. And we're gonna reach over to that right side, back to center, right side, back to center. We're gonna go for eight here. So this is three and four and five and six, two more, seven, and eight, come on back to center. We'll switch on to that opposite side. So let's step on back with that left foot slightly behind that right side. Core is nice and activated for balance. We're gonna reach nice over the head towards the right for three, for four, for five, six, seven, and eight. 
from this position, I'm gonna have you guys stretch out a little bit of those hamstrings. So we're gonna separate the feet out into a straddle position. If this is available to you, great. If not, you can walk the legs a little bit closer. If you're super flexible into those inner thigh muscles, feel free to come down nice and wide. So I'm gonna have your hips nice and square. Make sure you're not dipping to either side so you protect that lower back. Gently tuck that pelvis again so you're neither too arched or too round. We're gonna find that neutral. Arms are gonna be out to either side of you like a T and we're gonna reach opposite arm to opposite foot. So let's go for one and two and three and four and where the hand goes, right? Let the eyes follow so you protect the neck. Seven, eight, nine and 10. From here, we're gonna come on to those side lunges with that chest stretch. It's gonna help relieve some of that tightness at the front of the chest. If you spend a lot of time on your phone or even at the computer in your day to day, this is a great way to prime those muscles up for the start of the day. So first things you can do is just step the feet a little bit closer from that second position. Feet are pointing in front of you, if not slightly out to the side. Interlace the fingers behind you. Core is nice and activated. Gently tuck the pelvis, right? And we're gonna sit the bum back down towards that right side back to center, we're gonna go for a 10 here. If available to you, drop that chest, reach up nice and tall towards the ceiling so you get a deeper stretch. Good, this is four to either side. And five, and five, and six, and six, seven, seven, eight, eight, last two, nine, nine, last one, 10, and 10. From here, we're gonna go through another round of these guys. I like to do the standing ones an extra round just because it primes those muscles up to start on the day. So again, right leg behind that left side, we're gonna reach nice and tall for eight to this side, and two and three, try to get a little bit deeper into the range for four, and five, and six, two more, seven, and eight. Switch on over, left foot behind that right foot. If available to you, step a little bit further now because this is round two, so we wanna get a little bit deeper. And three, and four, and five, six, Two more, seven and eight. Going back onto those alternating hamstring sweeps. We're gonna come on back to that second position. Feet are nice and wide, toes slightly in front or out to the side. Arms will be nice and long towards the side, fingertips nice and straight, core nice and activated as we reach down towards that opposite foot to get an elongation through the hamstrings. And two, and two. Again, where the hand goes, let the eyes follow to protect the neck. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight. We're gonna come on back to center and the last one we're gonna do is interlace those fingers. Again, we're gonna sit the bum back down to either side for those lunges. So sitting back, reaching nice and tall for one. And one. And two. And two. And three. And three. Really try to engage through the core, engage through the glutes as you feel those glute muscles, those quad muscles start to prime up for the day. These are great just to make sure your whole body's feeling nice and loose before tackling the day. Got one more here. And come on back to center. Thank you guys again so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are feeling a little bit looser and a little bit more mobile and ready to tackle on the day. So again, I'm Dr. Winnie Yu, and this has been Trainer of the Month Club with Well and Good. If you guys enjoyed today's workout, definitely subscribe to Well and Good's channel for more movement tips from physical therapists like me, um, and I'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye.